Jen here with iBailey Technology Consulting, and today I'm going to show you the amortization functionality in NetSuite. So first off, here is my uh, amortization template. I made it for prepaid insurance. It's just a standard straight line unit periods um, transaction date based template. Um, there are many different options. Um, you can do a variable, you can do kind of prorated depending on you know the date um, of the transaction. Um, I think the easiest one and simplest one to show is just the straight line. That's probably going to be the most used one. Um, the deferral account I've picked as the deferred expense account. And my target account is my insurance expense account since I'm doing um, a prepaid insurance uh, template. Um, I haven't given it a period since, um, you know, insurance can be, you know, any number of months. I don't want to um, kind of have that start and end date hard coded um, to say how, how long the period of amortization should be. So I'm going to indicate that on my bill, which I have over here. So I've picked my insurance vendor. And my expense account is my 1345 deferred expense account. Um, I put in $1,200, so we have a 12-month um, template or schedule to show you. Um, my amortization schedule I've picked is my prepaid insurance. My start date will be the beginning of next month um, for the 12-month uh, period. So I'm going to save this. And we'll get a amortization schedule number here. Um, so here's my amortization schedule. It gave the number 12, but that's just a number, not how many months um, it's for. Um, so it's telling me here that you know, starting in September, going through next August, there'll be $100 that gets uh, recorded each month. These uh, couple things can be seen at amortization templates here under lists, accounting, um, amortization templates. Um, and then if you want to see your schedules, um, all of your schedules, you can go to um, the amortization schedule here. So this is my uh, schedule that we looked at. When we're ready to create the amortization journals, um, transactions, financial, and create amortization journal entries. And um, we're going to pick our next period. Sorry, I forgot we picked uh, September. So September is our um, you know, next period to, um, to do this more. So we have two schedules going. Um, we're going to review this one here though. So we're going to create our journal entry. There's only two, so it should be relatively quickly. So our journal 317 was created and there's um, you know, one journal for all of the schedules. So this goes against our schedule number 12 um, where we are debiting our expense account and crediting our deferred account. Um, our schedule itself will be updated to reflect that we executed this journal on um, you know, this journal on this date. Uh, let me go back to that journal. So it created, you know, it's going to create as many journals as as many uh, subsidiaries that you have. So 11 and 12 schedules will both on um, the headquarter subsidiary. Um, let's pretend, you know, you've you've got some scenario where, you know, maybe we don't need to have this amortize for the whole life or. You know, we want to expense everything, um, you know, in the next period. You have that ability to change the schedule um, if you need to. 
based on you know whatever circumstances come up in your business process. So now for October, an external will issue for the eleven hundred dollars, and that is the amortization functionality in Netsuite. As always, if you have questions, our team is here to help. Click on the link below to get in touch.